Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great today. I have a few project shares for you. I am still working on some Easter projects or spring, actually spring projects. Um, and I'll go ahead and share with you once I have those ready. But first of all, I wanted to share with you some embellishments that I've been working on. So I've been on a crepe paper kick and I actually had these done like a couple of weeks ago. I had um, done some pink ones and this really nice um, baby blue one, this yellow one, I love this yellow, this peach one, and this mint one. So the pink one, I actually, this really beautiful light pink I found over at um, Walmart. It's really beautiful. And then the light blue and, um, and the mint, I found it over at Hobby Lobby. So with um, those, I use my flower dye and um, Let's see, oh, I don't think I have my flower dye here in my mess. But, uh, oh, here it is. This is the dye that I used to create the flowers out of the crepe paper. So I used actually the biggest one here, and I, I cut it through my machine, and I made some flower shape um, crepe papers. So here's the pink, the peach one. Um, I did mint, a few of the mints. A few of the baby blue, uh, pink, and yellow. So with those, um, I did some embellishments. And um, here are the embellishments I made. And what I did is I layered a couple of these crepe papers. So different tones to um, create a fuller flower. So here's one of them. It's really pretty. I love how it looks. And so this one... I layered the yellow one and the peach one and then I added some gold thread that I found over at um, Joann's and um, I also added these um, chipboard pieces they come from the Target from and these are stickers from last year that Luisa had gifted to me uh, when we did our um, Easter spring uh, binder mail swap so hi Luisa and so I pulled out the package and I started making some little embellishments with them I did some layering and then here's another one I did and I did some layering as well so there's pink crepe paper peach some thread and I layered about three little chipboard pieces really really cute and then um, here's this one I layered um, mint green baby blue and three little chipboard pieces I also added the, the gold thread on it really really cute so I love how these came out then this next one I was totally inspired by um, Anna who is Serenity Creations here on YouTube. A while back she had given me um, in one of our swaps uh, a couple of these jars, little mini mason jars and that she decorated with a ribbon flower and then inside were die cuts. So there were die cuts of out of pattern paper, vellum and a, a buttload of uh, sequins. So um, what I did is I went ahead and um, I dumped out everything in a container and I took out all the die cuts except for the circle ones and left behind the, die, the circle die cuts and the sequins and I did some sequins clusters using her tutorial. So if you haven't checked it out, I will link her tutorial down below in the description box. And if you follow me on Instagram, you have already seen these because I did share pictures of these over at my Instagram page. And these are came out so cute just using what she gave me. So I love them. And <clears throat> I don't have glossy accents. I actually ran out. But what I did use for this was... Um, burly art glue so I use this and look it it's a little bit flexible but it dries clear and it came out so cute and I did use these in one of my projects and I'll share with that later at a later time but I just love how it came out really really cute so I did those and then <clears throat> also I was inspired by um, Car Carolina's Crafts here on YouTube. She was doing these rosettes with bunny butts. Really, really cute. And um, a while back, I had picked up this pom-pom kit over from Dollar Tree. So after seeing that, I'm like, oh, that is so cute. But I didn't do bunny butts. I just did little 
bunny rosettes and they came out super adorable I just love how they came out <clears throat> so I only used the little itty bitty pom poms out of the kit to create the little cheeks the little chubby cheeks and the nose I used the googly eyes um, the felt ears and the bow and then this is from Michaels this is from Michaels it comes in a long strip like this over at Michaels so I just added a, a little flower to the bow really cute I just love how this little bunny rosette came out I used the Tim Holtz um, rosette it's the minis I believe it's got a, a little bigger one and then the little mini one so that's what I used to create these so I did three of them love them so cute and then so a while back um I have found in a stash. I've been looking for this punch for the longest time it's a retired punch from Stampin Up it's a butterfly punch looks like this super cute I've been looking for this searching high and low for this um, I think I found one on eBay and they wanted like $85 for it <laughs> no so um, actually I found this at a Facebook stash group and it was only eight dollars plus shipping so yeah <laughs> so I was so happy I jumped on it right away when I seen it and I did a whole mess of little uh, punch outs using my scraps from my Susan Lincoln's floral um, paper pad it is a, King, a retired King Company paper pad which unfortunately King Company no longer exists they have um, closed production so um, I had a lot of scraps and I did some punching and all again um, I was inspired by Serenity Creations. She had gifted me um, one of those um, in one of our swaps as well, an embellished embe uh, butterfly. So, I don't know if you guys remember back in the day, um, what am I thinking? Over at um, Michael's, I was going to say McDonald's. Um, Michael's, they had a, um, a line that was called Vintage Romance and they had these little German glass um, vials. So I have all seven colors, but these are the colors that I use for my butterflies. So I call, um, it's called Sugared Butterflies. That's how she calls it, Sugared Butterflies. She uses um, the um, Diamond Dust, which I did have, but I had very little, you see. I don't know what happened to my big container. I think I de-stashed it, but <clears throat> I have it a very little. So what I did is I mixed a teaspoon of this with a teaspoon or a couple of teaspoons of this. And I was able to make uh, four, four sugar up four butterfly petals. So um, that's what I did. So here's the green one. I just love it so I what I did is I used to adhere the bling this bling was gifted to me by Anna as well in one of our swaps it comes in a strand like this um, you can find it over in California and um, so I still have it and I've been using it sparingly and so I use hot glue gun and also fabric tech to adhere the bling and I just love it so I did two of each <clears throat> And then this one, I just use plain um, diamond dust. Only did plain diamond dust with these. And then with these green ones, I mix diamond dust with the uh, green German glass. So I love these. They came out so cute. And again, to adhere the, the diamond dust onto the petals, I just use my um, barely glue. So it is flexible. It is uh, a little pliable, it's soft, but I still love how it looks and it holds very well. And then I did this one. So this one I used, I mixed the diamond dust with this one. Very pretty. And then I did this pink one. <coughs> and I mixed the diamond dust with this one. Love it. And then I did the blue one. So also again, I mixed the diamond dust with this blue one. And I've had this in my stash for a few years. Um, and I figured, you know what? I need to use what I have. 
you know so that's what I did I'm gonna start um, using what I have already so yeah so this is um, my little project share what I've been working on for the past you know week or so and I just love everything that I created I had so much fun creating these and yeah so all right everyone I hope you all have a wonderful Easter and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your Sunday and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye